What would you gain if you lose your soul? What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? I'd rather live my life like Job, Lord, refine me in the furnace till I'm pure like gold from out the concrete grew a rose. What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? I'd rather live my life like Job, Lord, refine me in the furnace till I'm pure like gold. The truth was written, it was never sold. There was a man in the land of ooze whose name was Joe. Very wealthy, blessed, and healthy with a soul pure as gold. Couldn't find another man like him because he was perfect. And you love him. You want me to give an answer? Well, you could. It's going to be your answer. It's going to be God's answers. Let's find out. Second John 1 and 6. Second John 1 and 6. Let's get the answer. How do we show God we love him? How do we show the Heavenly Father who gave you life, you love Him? Everybody say they love God, but they're smoking weed. Everybody say they love God, but they, they want to they wanna make baby mamas in the neighborhood. Everybody say they love God, but, but they're stripping. Everybody say they love God, but they're twerking and selling drugs. Right? Read. This is the book of 2 John, chapter 2, verse 6. And this is love. This is what? And this is love. God said this is love. Read. That we walk after... That we walk... The same way you chase the check... You gotta chase this, read. After his commandments. After his what? After, after his, his commandments. After his who? After, after his, his commandments. commandments. The only way to show God love, sister, is if you keep the commandments of God. That's the only way. There's no other way. It doesn't matter how you think, how quick, how good you think you dance, how much money you make it, that's not showing God love. It's only keeping his commandments. Right? Since we're talking so much about commandments, we talk so much about judgment, right? Let's learn some commandments. If I'm gonna let you go, at least I'm gonna show you three commandments, easy ones that you can keep. You know four of them? Give me four off the top of your head. Okay, I, I'm, 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 hopefully you ain't murder nobody. He, he fought a Satan? Huh? Yeah, of course, he tried to distract you. Go ahead, go ahead. You didn't murder nobody, that's good. You didn't? You, you don't steal? Don't, don't tie. See? I ain't gonna lie, I steal my little earrings. <laughs> we gonna get you right, sister. Go ahead. <laughs> Alright, don't kill, don't steal. He hate liars. Okay. That's three. That's three. Oh! Hey, stop smoking weed, brother, and repent, man. <laughs> Go to, would you kiss your mother with that mouth or repent? Well, that well, we, we'll get there. Well, that's true. That's according to the scriptures. Let me show you this commandment. Let me show you this commandment. Give me Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two, verse five, First Timothy two and nine. Let me show you one. Because you're kind, of, you're kind of keeping a commandment right now, kind of. But we're gonna show you the way to keep it in full effect. If you wanna be a daughter of the of the heavenly Father, you wanna get the blessings. You wanna get the check. You wanna get everything that comes with serving God. You gotta do this correctly. Go ahead. Um, first De Deuteronomy 22 and 5 first. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God say a woman can wear what men wear. What do you think that's talking about? Uh, boxes. <laughs> nah. I'm going to give you another chance. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God says a woman can't wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It's talking about pants. Uh, women shouldn't wear pants. You're not wearing pants right now. So you got fifty percent of it right. Now let me show you the other fifty that the other the other fifty that you're not, you're not getting right right now. First Timothy two and nine. This is the book of First Timothy chapter two verse nine. In like manner also, like manner also that woman adorned that the, the woman do what? Adorned, adorned themselves, dressed themselves, read really? in modest apparel, what? in modest apparel, modest apparel, read with shamefacedness, with humility, right, really? and sobriety, with sobriety, read not with broided hair. Not you like having the whole flashlights in your hair like a light show? No. So you doing that part when you know how you have the flashlights in your hair? But according to the scriptures, a woman gotta dress themselves in modest apparel. What do you think modest apparel is? To your, to your like, understanding? Uh, more classier. How's classy? You gotta break it down to me. I like, so, uh, well, not like this. What's not like this? <laughs> not with the short, short, exactly. Not just like a thought. Exactly. You're not supposed to just like the most high. It is not dealing with thoughts. So we're supposed to dress correctly in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you recollect. I, I, know that, that, I know that confounded you, but we're going to bring it right back. 
So according to the scripture, sister, you're supposed to cover yourself up. You're supposed to dress nice. You're supposed to wear your fringes. We're going to get that. Numbers 15, 38. You're supposed to wear it. Make sure your dress is loose. Why do you think God said he wants you to dress in modest apparel? For a uh, man or lust or uh, look at you in a... In a what? Exactly. Hallelujah. Because Hallelujah. exactly our president sister applause. You got it. You're doing good. You're doing real good. Because as a woman of God, you're supposed to dress modestly because how old are you by the way? I'm 26. You're 26. So you're a young sister. When you when you want men to look at you, do you want them to look at you because of this? No. Or because of your spirit, My your 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 personality, yeah. your mind, right? Yeah. Which how you can add on to their lives. You don't want them thinking about this. Yeah. Right? Because they're gonna try to show you a false, false uh, image of themselves just to sleep with you and then leave you right when you look at nature nothing that nothing that's precious can easily just be found on the ground you don't find diamonds on the ground right you find them deep in the earth you don't just get gold when it's in its best it got it got to be what and it got to be found deep in the ground in the mines in the, mines, the water you got to put in work to get it just like with his daughters the most i want you to cover yourself up she profess yourself as being a princess you don't see princesses just with their dress all, all the way up to here you don't see that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, it is short. It is short. And you, I don't got to say it. That's why this elder's looking at you like that. Right? That's what you got to cover yourself. You got to work on that. It takes baby steps. You got to work on that. Numbers 15, 38. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Please. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who's speaking to, Sister Nisha? The children of Israel. Who's that? Nice. Read. And bid them, and tell them read. that they make them fringes. God say you're supposed to have fringes at the end of your dress. You're supposed to have fringes at the end of your clothing, right? Or just at the end of your dresses. Read. In the borders of their garments right. throughout their generations. Right. And that they put upon the fringe of the fringe. of the borders right. a ribbon of blue. Oh, what? A ribbon of blue. So God said you put the have these on your clothing. Let's find out why. Let's find out why. Read. And it shall be unto you right. for a fringe. For, what? for a fringe. For, what? for a fringe. For a reminder. Read. That ye may look upon it. When you look upon these fringes, it's going to remind you something. Read. And remember all the what? commandments. All the and remember all the commandments. You're gonna remember, thou should not steal, thou should not murder. I'm supposed to wear a loose dress, not a tight, tight spray-on dress. You're supposed to wear a loose dress. You're supposed to make sure you don't eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You keep the Sabbath day. You will observe the Passover. This New Year's that went by, that's not the New Year's according to the eyes of God. That's the white man's New Year's. That's them worshiping another god. You only have one god, which is the god of the Bible. You don't worship the white man's god. Read. And it shall be upon Salaki. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, for a fringe read. that ye may look upon it. That when we look upon it, now remember God's commandments. We just showed you two easy commandments. From what you hear so far, is that hard? No, but it's, I have to work on it. It takes time, right? Yeah. So how are you gonna do that? By uh, trying to dress more better. Let's find out. Zephaniah two one says because there's a lot of things that you cannot do by yourself. Yeah, of course it's gonna be hard because in this society they don't make it easy they make the they make our women our princesses seem if you don't dress and if you don't dress in a tight dress you don't have your assets all out and you're not loud and stuff like that in the hood that nobody won't love you nobody gonna respect you you're never gonna get a husband that's not true sister if you want to get pookie ray ray man men are killing their own people then you continue dressing like that if you were a righteous man of the lord like my powerful officer barbers of matazawad you break you keep the commandments of God, sister. You keep the commandments of God. Read. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter two, verse one. Read. Gather yourselves together. How do we how do we keep God's commandments? Gather, Gather yourselves, yourselves together. together. How do we wear the dresses the correct way? Gather yourselves together. Read. Yay, gather yourselves together. God say, gather together, read. Oh nation. Oh nation, because everybody hates us, read. Not desire. The white man hate us, the Chinese man hate us, the Arab hate us. That's why they sell you weed and sell you rap. Because they hate you. Because they know that it's against God, sister. We must gather ourselves together. Everybody hates us so much. Because everybody hates us, we need to love each other. That's why when I seen you, I didn't say, oh, you B word, you H word, this and that. I treated you with respect. You say you didn't know, I gave you respect. You understand? A lot of times, our people don't know how to respect each other. We don't know how to love each other. We don't know how to esteem each other. We didn't come out here to, to bash you, sister. We came up here to uplift you in the spirit. Philippians 2 and 3. And after, I'm gonna give if you have any questions, sister. I'm gonna give you the four. Philippians two and three. Cause you say you have a son, right? How old is he? I have a son and daughter. Oh, you have a son and daughter. How old are they? My son, eight, my daughter. 
eight and two, right? What are you teaching? Well, actually, what's the what's the foundation? What doctrine are you teaching? After that, um, Psalm seventy-eight and five. You say, you say that now. When you get a man of the Lord, he'll leave you five more. Don't no, worry. No, 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 no,
been in trouble. Stuff like that. So I'm not a person to sit home and watch TV and watch a gospel. Mm -hmm. I'm finna go out there. I don't care what you're talking about. Right. So as I got older, I calmed down a little bit, you know? So. That makes sense. What is that? All, all praises, but you can't. According to scripture, we're not supposed to be getting tattoos. That'll be your last one. That'll be your last one. I got this because I want to show God, even though I don't pray. Like I still, is He still here with me? You know. If, if you want to show God that that you love Him, sister, you keep the commandments. There's the Book of Psalms, chapter seventy-eight, verse four. That's your son. Yeah. Yeah. He look, he like he should be my big brother. <laughs> read read that. We will not hide from their Salak. We will not hide this them isn't. from their children. God said you're not going to hide them from your children. Read. Showing to the generations to come right. the praises of the Most High. Read. And his strength. And his strength. Read. And his wonderful works. Read. That he has done. Right. Read. For he established a testimony God in Jacob. God established a testimony within our people. Read. And appointed a law. Appointed a what? A law. No, a hood. A law. Some weed. A law. Child support. A law. Prison cells. A law. Sister, God established a law to you. Read. In Israel. In Israel, read. Which he commanded our fathers. Right, read. That they should make them known to their children. Sister, what did God just say right now? Um, let's, let's read it again. Since he came here, he's it's okay. That's why you've got to make sure you carry the belt with you. Read. In the book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 5. Read. For he established a testimony in Jacob read. and appointed a law, a law read. in Israel, in Israel read. which he commanded our fathers right. that they should make them known to their children, read. that the generation to come might know them, read. even the children which should be born, who shall arise and declare them. So God say that you're supposed to teach our children the law, statute, commandments of God. You got to teach him the law, statute, of the commandments of the Heavenly Father. You got to teach him. His father's a so called Haitian or black American. You got to teach him according to the Bible. He's not black American. He's from the tribe of Judah, sister. Do you have any questions for us, sister? No. You don't have no questions? Let me ask you one before I let you go. Has, what, are you, what is your job as a parent? Make sure they straight. How? Make sure they got clothes. We just, we just went over it. What else? Uh, because a lot of parents, they give their children clothes, right? They give them toys, they give them cars. Of what? What's in the Bible? What's the knowledge of the Bible? Exactly. The law set your commandments of God. Do you have a flyer? Did you do we give you a flyer? One moment, one moment, brethren. Ease yourself. One moment, one moment, brother. Let me give you a flyer, sister. This is what our information. Contact us. Watch our YouTube video, sister. Okay, All right. I'm sorry? Our YouTube channel. Our YouTube We have a school right here. It's like five minutes from over here. Yeah, at right I'm here at 2937 West Broad Boulevard. Work it's all good. Tune in on YouTube, man. Okay, I will. Tune in. Give us a call, man. Make sure you see, bring your son, bring your daughter with you. All right? You wanted us to pray for you, right? Yes, I did. Number 6 to 23. I only got the oil with me, but uh, it's 26, 20, uh, 6 to 23. For real, close your eyes. Stop playing. All praises to the Father. All praises to the Father. All praises to the Father. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 6, verse 23. Read. Speak unto Aaron and to his sons, right. saying on this wise, right. ye shall bless the children of Israel, right. saying unto them, right. the, the Most High bless thee. We're going to read it in English and then we're going to read it in Hebrew, sister. We're going to say it in Hebrew. Read. The Most High bless thee right. and keep thee. Right. The Most High make his face shine upon thee right. and be gracious unto thee. The Most High lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Right. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Okay, we're gonna read. We're gonna repeat it in, in Hebrew, okay? That's the language that the Bible printed. Okay, so repeat after us. Yasha are Yahawa. Yasha are Yahawa. Why you are Yahawa. Why you are Yahawa. Yasha 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 are Yahawa. Yasha
Wayashan La Kashalawam La Kashalawam Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai Barak Wapa Barak Wapa Nisha Nisha Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai Barak Wapa Barak Wapa Is Roderick or Rodney? Rodney Rodney, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Barak Wapa, Barak Wapa, Yasharala, Yasharala. Let's get the most high round of applause. Hallelujah. Our praise to our Father, sister. We, sister, we pray that you actually hear. Listen, sister. I am. You're an from the tribe of Judah. Matter of fact, subscribe to our YouTube video before you leave. Subscribe to us right now. Yeah, subscribe to us right now. Subscribe to us right now. Hit the bell. Subscribe to us right now. We may turn yeah, turn on the post. Do all of that. Give me one second. Let me close out and I'm gonna come right down and give it to you. I'm gonna say all praises be to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Death and destruction to the nations.